This is the Raw Life Health Show. Raw Life. Hello, everybody. It's Paul Neeson with the Raw Life Health Show. Thank you for checking out this video. Uh, you know, there's many people when they get on a raw food diet, they desire to to eat as healthy as possible. Uh, when you first get into a raw food diet, eating dehydrated foods is very common. Um, you know, people want that same feeling that cooked food gives them to weigh them down. So they find other ways to cook the food, which will not destroy the enzymes in the food. So it's a little bit better, but still even dehydrated food, you're taking out the water from the food. And that's one of the things that's a problem with cooked food. So you want to make sure you get foods that have as much water in them as possible. But that's one of the things when people start eating uh, a raw food diet that happens. They, they eat a lot of dehydrated foods and they eat a lot of raw food recipes. And those are okay in a transitional stage, but let's not fool ourselves. That's not where we want to stay forever. We want to continuously look for, for better ways or better things we could do to help ourselves uh, to be healthier. And, and so we got to continuously grow and continually uh, progress. And, and, you know, when we first get into this, uh, eating a raw food diet, the food's so light, we find ourselves eating a lot more. But the longer we do this, eventually we end up eating less and less and less and less. And the higher quality foods, eating less, that's the way to go. Well, today I want to talk about nuts and seeds. Uh, basically, uh, this is something that many raw fooders or people in the vegan diet even struggle with. Uh, because they eat way too many. They overeat on them. And uh, I was and occasionally might be one of those that overeat on nuts and seeds. I think I've broken the habit of, of, of doing that. Uh, and I can go quite a long time without even having fat in my diet. Uh, just because uh, I live in an environment here in, in tropical South Florida where I just don't have the desire to eat uh, fatty foods as I did when I lived up north. But if you're living up north in a colder environment, especially in the wintertime, you are going to need some fatty foods to keep you warm or foods that are just more, more, more not complicated, but more that, that produce more heat. So eating watermelon down here in a sunny environment, uh, in tropical environment, is one thing. But what are you going to do if you're living in a colder environment and you need some, some more fats? Now, you can get them from avocados, but there aren't many raw sources of, of, of fat, raw vegan sources of fat. That's necessarily healthy for you. I don't recommend animal meat or animal products. So if you take that out of the equation, what do you have? You have avocados, and there are some exotic fruits you can get that have fats in them, like durian and stuff. But even those aren't ideal because they're not locally grown. But nuts is something. Nuts and nut butters is something that we can we can consume and have. But we need to be careful and think smart about it. So when you have nuts and seeds, seeds are more digestible than nuts. You know, pretty much always, seeds are going to be more digestible than nuts. And uh, if you just look at nature, if you want to follow the idea of natural hygiene, you naturally eat seeds in the food they come in, but you naturally spit out nuts in the food they come in, or you don't even you chew the nut. So, uh, you know, another way is, is, is to think about that is, so what's easier? So if I'm eating a watermelon, it's very easy to get the seeds from the watermelon because they go hand in hand. So you get a lot of those seeds. But if you eat, let's say, something like, uh, an apricot or something, or, or a stone fruit, as they call them in England, like a peach or something, you you know, there's there's even a nut in a peach. I don't recommend that it. it's very bitter, but it's not as simple to get a nut as a seed, not only physically, but also for your body to do something with it. Now, when you do finally get the nuts and seeds, wherever you're getting from, it's ideal to soak them to release the enzyme inhibitors and make them more digestible. So that's advisable. Uh, but when you think about all the different types of milks out there, the almond milks and all the nut milks and all the nut butters and everything else, my question is going to be today that I'm going to talk about is which nut is the best nut to consume on a raw food diet? And there's many ways to look at this and to see what we need or what we don't need. Most nuts that are sold in a store are rancid. Uh, they're out of the shell. They're sitting in a, in a container for a really long time. And, and once you start tasting fresh nuts right off the tree, you can understand what a rancid nut tastes like. I recently was somewhere where I had fresh macadamia nuts right off the tree. And, and I've heard about uh, rancid macadamia nuts for a long time. But these macadamia nuts were just out of this world. They were, they were, they were so delicious. And uh, when I go to the store to buy macadamia nuts, there's a little ring around them. And that's that's a great sign that they're rancid, and they even tasted rancid. But I didn't know because I didn't have fresh ones. Well, I went to somebody's farm that had fresh macadamia nuts, and they were absolutely delicious. But even then, 
he was selling me a, what a pound of macadamia nuts shelled so they didn't have the shell on them and it really in nature you got to think about what you would do in nature and in nature you would have a macadamia nut the only way to open that now i do have a nutcracker here but in nature if you were let's say lost on a desert or island or something the only way you're going to open up the macadamia nut is with with a couple of rocks and hitting it together and then taking it out there there's no way you can eat a pound of nuts or even a handful of nuts as quickly as you would as if it's already mechanically uh, shelled and, and, you're, and you're eating them uh, just when you buy them that way. So it's very over easy to overconsume a nuts and seeds when they're already shelled. Uh, almonds are the same example. You could sit there and get a pound of, um, pound of almonds. Do you know how hard it is to get in an almond shell and how long it would take to eat? The walnuts are a little bit different. Walnuts are, are, you can squeeze two walnuts together. That'll crack it open. It's much easier to eat a good amount of walnuts uh, than, than a good amount of almonds or hazelnuts or something else. And I believe that's a sign to show us what foods are ideal or what nuts are ideal or what nuts are not ideal. And whatever we're doing, it's still best to soak the nut and also to chew it as well as possible when you do chew it. Even soak it if you're going to make it in some kind of nut milk or something or even sprout it if you're going to have it make a nut butter or something else out of it. Uh, as I said, seeds would be your first choice, but the nuts, it's the nuts that naturally are easiest to get to. And when I think about that, uh, my answer is this. Here's my so, so walnut would be an easier one to get into. Uh, almonds are more difficult. Hazelnuts are more difficult. But still, try to get the nuts with the shells on them. And it's usually only around Christmas time when you can go to your local supermarket and you see nuts with uh, with 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 it, the shells around them. So it's very difficult to get them other times of the year. But try to get them if you can. Uh, and people say, oh, it's so inconvenient to do that. Well, for a reason. Our uh, creator didn't want us to overeat. Uh, but here's the nuts that I found to be to be the best nuts. I have a bag here of them. And that would be this. And this is a pistachio nut. And I, I have a friend that has a farm, a pistachio farm. And, and these nuts actually open by themselves. So there's nothing easier than to do than to just... It's the easiest nut. Now, I'm not talking about the red pistachios that get your hand all red. No, but these pistachio nuts are excellent. Now, most places sell them with, uh, they're roasted and they're salted. They do not have to be. I'd recommend them raw uh, is the ideal way. Now, if you get a real true pistachio nut uh, in nature and right off the tree at the right time, they're actually wet and soft, believe it or not. Uh, but this one is, uh, you know, they get harder and drier or uh, harder as they get drier, uh, but that would be the best nut to consume just because it's the easiest nut to get into. Walnuts, I think, would be second, and you could just think about that. So the next time you go to buy nuts, think about if I was in nature, how difficult would it be to get that? And when you're over consuming nuts, try to think about that as well, and hopefully that'll help you. And I think uh, the more the longer you're eating a raw vegan diet, the more your body detoxifies and cleanses. Uh, the better you'll be able to get by on eating less. And, and, and eating less, or some people call it uh, systematic fasting, or whatever you want to call it, intermediate fasting, whatever you want to call it. Uh, you know, we have to work very hard and put a lot of stuff in our body to get ourselves in, uh, sick. The less we do, the better off we are. But you want to make sure that you're not supporting a deficiency. So I believe it's important to monitor your blood work to make sure you're getting what you need, take the appropriate supplementation. But Bottom line is we don't need to eat more. We need to eat less. We need to eat the foods that are going to digest as simple as possible. And from the standpoint of nuts and seeds, I've just uh, broken down and explained to you some of that. And I hope you understand. But if you have comments or questions and if you want to share your experiences about what nut you would be found the best to digest for yourself and, and to do the most for you, you can share that as well. Uh, thank you very much for watching. And until then, everybody, have a great day and a great real life. Nature's wealth, good for your health. This is the Raw Life Health Show. Raw Life, brighten up your life.